Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I got a special introduction for you all out there. I was inspired to uh, sing you a song this morning. So it'll be short, sweet, and quick, and there will be cussing involved. I'm feeling like a ship without a sail. I'm stuck in here in this fucking jail. The grass is growing browner every day. And everyone has got some shit to say. As I need you to give me all your good energy, you can do that right now by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, you can do all those sexy mother trucking things that I want you to do to me here at Tally Stero. So I'm gonna slam down the holy water. <laughs> I am whack jack. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. <laughs> Show me the energy that person, my beautiful Pisces, is dealing with this time. Sure. Please show me the energy of the person that my beautiful Pisces is dealing with today. Hey. Oh, the justice card. <laughs> Order to the court. Order to the court. Okay, we all, you can all be seated now. I know it's getting a little wild today here. <laughs> I need wild though, man. These readings have been like fucking hell. Pisces, down on the table, we have the two of swords. We have the emperor and we have the justice card. Crossing all that energy, Pisces, it is the Princess of Pentacles. Oh, Pisces. Somebody here wants to get to know you a little bit better here. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of things that they want to know about you. But, Pisces, however, I feel like getting to know you a little bit better here is going to give this person... Um, the information that they're needing here to balance the situation here to be able to come forth right here towards you. But at this time, Pisces, I don't think you guys are talking right now. Pisces, your person. Two of swords here. They're stuck in a nutshell right now playing with another dude's nut here. This is indecision. Uh, this is something where some clarity is needed here. Your person is needing some clarity here with this two of swords. Pisces, the divine masculine energy here it is the son of God. And I do mean S-U-N. As you can see, he's got literally the sun on his chest representing the divine masculine energy. Somebody here that could be an entrepreneur here, somebody who's very busy all the time, um, somebody who, uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that they lack poor communication skills, but they do lack poor communication skills when they're not matched with their, uh, you know, th their divine feminine energy here. So your person's very much in their masculine energy here. And uh, the best way they, they reciprocate with other people here is, um, you know, with the Empress, the Divine Feminine here. It's the Divine Masculine's counterpart. So we just got to get in it. We got to hit it and quit it, babies. I think somebody just threw a package at my door. So I like a good sword fight. So you know what we're going to do. We're going to dive right in onto the Two of Swords. 
What's this indecision about with the two of swords, please? What's this indecision about with the two of swords? Two of swords, can you show me the indecision? <sighs> okay. The indecision. <laughs> well, right now they're indecisive here. Because they're... Well, they've been holding back here, Pisces. Or they might feel like you've been holding back here right now. Mm. Yeah, this person here is having some kind of awakening here to something here um, while they're holding back here. We just got to get more here on the four of pen. So it's like they're not wanting to, it's like they're not wanting to give too much here to the situation here. I feel like the trickle down effect here happens like breadcrumbing here. I know. I feel like breadcrumbs are happening here. Show me more on the four of pen. Four of pen. More on the four of pen. Oh. Not only are they breadcrumbing. Oh, Jesus, Louise. The, what are they doing against you right now? Well, Pisces, this person's putting up their little scarecrow, huh? Why are they putting up the scarecrow here? Because they're afraid of some kind of communication here. Okay, this person has got a lot of anxiety here about some communication that's going to be coming from you. Yes, I said from you here um, about a soulmate connection and about commitment here and love here and happiness. Oh my God, that sounds like a Marvin Gaye song, right? No, that's Al Green. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, Pisces. Here we go again. Oh, fuck me running backwards up a tree. Oh, what a flying fuck debauchery. Oh, God. So, why are they putting up the scarecrow, please? Why are they putting up the scarecrow? Well, I know why. They got a lot of... They're putting up the scarecrow against the empress. They got a... Pisces, I told you. Crossing that energy here. Oh, Pisces, you're not communicating to this person right now. Here's where I call the energy. It's Pisces energy. Wee! <laughs> oh. They're putting up a scarecrow against you right now, Pisces. Because <laughs> there, there's communication here that's going to be coming from you. <laughs> we got the emperor and the empress on the table now. The divine masculine and the divine feminine. Oh, my God. So it's like they know that you are their counterpart, right? That you're an equal counterpart. This person is really fucking intimidated by that. This person thinks that they're the shit, right? They do. But ultimately, they think you're more the shit here. That you got more shit under control than what they do. Because this right here is showing me that this is one out of whack Jack Emperor. He is like totally off balance here. So you got your divine masculine here way off balance here. So they're putting up this big scarecrow because they're afraid of this communication here that's going to be coming from you. But it's like right now you're not talking, but they know that there's going to be the talk coming. <laughs> Evil laugh inserted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you such a fucking jerk? <laughs> You're running from yourself and it's absurd. Yeah, just like the song that I sang in the intro today. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. I just can't fucking believe this. <laughs> I gotta play happier songs, guys. I gotta start writing happier songs. Maybe next time it'll just be a finger picking, strumming long song. Okay, so what's going on here? Why are they putting up this front here towards the Empress? What are they afraid of? What's this person ultimately afraid of? They're afraid of something here. We know what they're afraid of, but we got to get more, right? We got to get more. What are they afraid of, please? Jeez, they're going to make me shuffle the truck up here. What are they afraid of? Oh, they're afraid of opening up. They're afraid of love, Pisces. Oh. Oh. Wow! They're afraid of loving you, Pisces. Oh my God. But at the end of the day, it's like, they know they got to take action here. There's something that has to happen here, Pisces. Because <laughs> ultimately, 
this person kind of feels like they're getting strung along here and um you know they're trying to be reliable but it's like if they just get up in their head here about talking to you and about offering you a solid commitment here and they just can't stop thinking about how they want to work together they're always anticipating getting together here because pisces here you are the queen of cups it's like you know they romanticize you and then they get all this anxiety and then it's like they got to take the bull by the horns and kind of hold back here kind of temper the situation and then what they they just they're lost here in their thoughts thinking about you thinking about this passionate new beginning here and how it's like something that they desire here so much with the world card here and they want to get some clarity and they want things to become crystal clear because it's like the more this person thinks about you it's like they're just they're just like they're they're magnetically drawn to you and it's really testing their strength to get up to pisces peak here to start a new passionate beginning because ultimately this person wants to be monogamous here and it's like they're waiting for communication here pisces jesus christ Wow. Oh my God, Pisces. I'm dizzy. That made me dizzy. Wow. I just got fucking dizzy. And I even ate. I had a two egg omelet with spinach in it and salsa. I shouldn't be this dizzy. Okay. So they're, they're afraid to talk about this love. They're scared. They got a lot of anxieties here. This person isn't used to talking about love and talking about opening up here but it's at the end of the day you've enchanted this person here it's like and this person has deep love for you here and i feel like it's something that's grown over time here like this person just didn't expect to you know have these feelings that they have for you right now and it's just really it's terrifying for them. Mm, Pisces. Oh, this poor person. Jesus, Louises. So let's just get more in on the Emperor now here, please. Show me more on the Emperor here. Okay, more on the Emperor. Yeah. There's the Emperor <laughs> wrestling himself. <laughs> it's a test of their... This is a real test of their strength here. This person's feeling super left out here right now with the Five of Swords. They're feeling like they're exiled right now here from you and communicating. And it's like they want to reach out here. They want to communicate. And like this bull is like the communication here. But then it's like they're just like, no, I can't reach out to the Pisces. I got to I got to hold back a little bit longer, Pisces. I can't. Just not ready. They're just not ready. They're just not ready to communicate here. They're just not ready. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh, fuck me. All right. Show me more on the strength here. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Why do these readings have to be so complicated? Oh, more on the strength. Just as I predicted. Jesus. More on the strength here. Pisces, this person is really up in their head. They're in a mental fucking prison right now. A complete mental prison here. And it's giving them a lot, lot of anxiety. And this person, it's like at the end of the day, I feel like they don't know if they're being strung along here or right now with the Seven of Cups. It's like they feel like, this person feels like they're being strung along here with the Seven of Cups here. And they can't stop fantasizing here about you. And it's like that underneath all of it, it's like this person, it, it's almost like this person wants to be reliable to you. This person wants to, and when I say reliable, I feel like they almost would like you guys, I know it sounds fucking weird, that they feel like maybe you guys should even move in together. I know it sounds fucking weird. They want to be reliable and they don't want to be strung along because ultimately, this person is coming to make you a serious fucking offer here about moving into a house, to a home with them, Pisces. I know I'm getting it really strongly today because it's like this is this person's wish. It's like they want to live with you. Oh, my God. Whoa. 
<laughs> well, if you want to live with Pisces, you're going to have to get over your fucking, your anxieties here. And you're going to have to come forth. But I feel like they feel like they're being strung along, Pisces, by you. And that's why they're not, that's the whole thing. I'm just going to fucking tell it to you like it is. Tell it like it is. Oh, yeah. Well, who's that? Is that that's Marvin Gaye? I don't find, Marvin Gaye and Al Green today. I don't know, but this person feels like they could be being strung along, but it's like they're holding this idea in their head that you guys can live together, that they can be reliable here to you, that they could actually build a home with you or create a beautiful home here and be somebody that you know is dependable here and that you can count on. So we got the emperor and the empress on the table already. So ultimately this person knows that they can be reliable. But it, I feel like they feel like you're stringing them along, Pisces. They really do. I'm just not going to lie. I can't do it. Oh my God, Pisces. <laughs> oh, God. No. oh, you little vixen, Pisces. I got to get a drink of water. <laughs> oh, God. We gotta get into the justice. So, this person seeking justice. Show me the justice card, please. Show us the justice. What's the justice card, please? What's the justice card for Pisces person's energy? The justice card. Well, we had three cards here fly out, so let's just see what it is here. Well, the Justice card is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, which usually the, the scales of justice here are on the Six of Pentacles here. The Nine of Pentacles here and the Magician crossing all that here. It's like the Princess of Wands. So this person knows they owe you some communication here, right? Underneath the Justice card, what this person knows right now, you know, moving forward here, this person's not a complete pendejo, right? No. They're not a complete pendejo. No, no pendejo. So, Pisces, it's like they know that they're going to have to give you some communication here about their current situation, which it's like their current situation is like, hey, Pisces, I'm ready to give to this situation here. I'm single. I'm abundant here. And I'm looking for something, you know, long term here with somebody here. And this is what I've been manifesting for quite some time. And I feel like it's you, Pisces. I feel like it's you that I could have in my life. I feel like I've already manifested you, Pisces. And this is the only way I'm going to be able to fix this situation here. Is by communicating and telling you that, you know, I want this. I want something more. They want something more here, Pisces. They're telling, they're telling us right now, telling me that they want something more here than just being single here and uh, being abundant here. They're ultimately wanting to give to this situation so that they can find their Ten of Pentacles here, you know, with somebody here. And we have the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine here on the table. So they already feel like you're somebody who can match their energy and can, you know, like, be on their mother trucking level. Get on my motherfucking level! <laughs> Wow, and this person ultimately, uh, they want to live with you. Have a house with you, Pisces. Oh, this is a fucking wild reading. Oh my god. So, let's get to final messages here, and then we're going to close it out. <clears throat> so, what would this person like to tell Pisces right now at this time? Sure. Six of Pentacles comes out at once. <laughs> But twice on the table, Pisces, and we'll give it a gavel here for the justice. <laughs> yeah, they're ready. They want to give, they want, e they want this to be equal, equal partnership here. What else? Sure. The Knight of Pentacles, not once on the table, but twice. You can count on this person being reliable is what they're telling me right now. What else? <clears throat> sure. The death card here. So this person is, has gone through a an awakening here. They're putting the past behind them here because it's like 
they want more uh, brighter times here in their future here. And that's what they're looking for here. What else? Queen of Swords. Yeah. This person knows that they need to cut the bull cut the bullshit out and get right down to the brass tacks titty here with the truth. Last and final message for my beautiful Pisces before we close off this mother truck and reading. What else would you like to tell? Oh, yeah. Tower, Pisces. Oh, tower. Yeah, Pisces. This person has literally put down, put something behind them. They're having this, they have had a realization here that they're drowning in their cup of love. This tower is literally drowning in the ace of cups here. So it's like they're deconstructing everything. They could even be deconstruct. They're just deconstructing everything. So that there's nothing left from this person's past so that they could start anew here. In a, in a, it, it, like with a new love offer to like have a full ace of cups without any bullshit in it. And just give you the straight cup of love in here, Pisces. So, Pisces, tarot's been adjourned. You know what to do on the way out of the courtroom. And I'll see you on the next Mother Truck and Reading.